Let's start over here. What's up, guys? Are you live or no? We live. We live? I can't believe that. Not in Roanoke, Alabama. Nah, we filming. I'm going to edit All it. All right, we'll film it out. Hey, guys, check out what we got right here. That's a fat stack. Uh, got some more real deals headed. So th we're over here at the Fab Shop right across town, and uh, these will be headed over to the shop shop here in just a few hours and putting some more in there. So if you guys follow the channel, this is our old building that we used to work out of and we rented this space and now it's getting used to assemble real deals and that's the man right there. What's up guys? So Tony's uh, aluminum slash metal fab work extraordinaire. Uh, you've been, how long you been fooling with fab stuff? Your whole life. Uh, 24 years. Yeah. Yeah, 24 he's, years. So. He's very good at it. Wow. Highly in high demand, but we snagged him and he's assembling real deals, so he's just kind of the man on these, but he does a bunch of other stuff too. Got aluminum stuff over there, so this is just one one project. Um, what do you think about them? You, how many of these have you put together now at this oh, point? Man. Probably a little over 200 at this point, just yep. in the last couple months, so the, keep going, production keeps coming in and keep getting them out. So Work all hours of the night and day. Hey. What we gotta do to make it work. That's right. I'll show you guys something we don't normally have one took apart so that you can see it, uh, but this is the inner manifold. It's all stainless steel. This is a, a much beefier elbow here, and it sits very low if you look on the, uh, the inner PVC part, right? So this is going to sit in here like this, and it sits about right there, okay? So really, we are including the little elbow, the little 45 elbow. You got one over there. Okay. Um, so we've been we we include that with them, but honestly, we lowered that down. You really don't need it anymore. I ain't even told you that. Aaron, That's but, true. Because it's so low to the coal, your hose is flat. Without it's that. like a Near stock line, street no. forty five almost. The Titans they were probably I'd say a quarter maybe three eighths higher than that. So that's what caused that ink at, at the beginning. So really proud of that. And also all welded. So check a look at these welds right here, guys. Almost Just, looks fused. It's, it's so a, tight, man. It's, it's robotically beautiful. done. So it's like a perfect weld. So what that means is no leak points. As long as you guys will take care of these and flush them out at the end of every job with water, that lasts pretty much forever. So very, very good quality stuff, man. We uh, made some little tweaks and stuff along the way, but very happy with them. Very happy with the way they're turning out and they're rolling them. So got plenty of stock. If you guys want to grab one, we had them back ordered for like maybe 10 days and uh, launched them right back on the side. So Aaron's like making motions to me. I don't, I can click that link in the description. If you want to get one, you mm -hmm. know, it's going to be a link. Hey, you it's already know, link. bro. You already know. Yeah, drop down in the description box. Check out the link. If you guys need a hose reel, this is what the end product will look like. Kind of dark in here. Tony working in the dark, trying to keep it cool in there. So very high quality. We did have to mess with this a little bit, guys. I'll be honest. Um, there's a sweet spot. There's more going on here than you realize. What we were just talking about. Very it looks like a simple little little hose reel, don't it? You think that, the, that that would be one of the minor things about the whole project, but it's it's really the, a major point. It is. Messing around with different spring weights. We're pretty pretty settled on this one now. This is a new spring, and it's a fine line. You you want it to be easy to pull back, right? So you can disengage it. And you, but you still want good positive click when it locks in. And you also, you don't have much room here on this side. Um, it can't stick in too much or it's gonna hit the hose in here. But if, if it doesn't stick in enough, it's not getting good engagement. So it's, uh, it's kind of a fine line there that you're walking, but very clean, they're, they're nice. Greasable bearings, stainless steel, everything's either aluminum or stainless. Very cool. Aluminum, stainless pillow blocks. Right, greasable. Stainless innards, aluminum. I mean, chemical second proof. to none, bro. That's the best. Chemical proof. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say the best real deal on the market. Best best hose reel on the market. Let me see. What do you think? Best hose reel on the market, baby. What? I mean, what else you need? That's the real deal hose reel. Yep. So, um, eventually, we're gonna do an 18 inch version. Um, real big deal. And it'll have a one inch inner manifold so we'll get that question we're gonna put ron burgundy on the end yeah, we'll put ron on there kind of a big deal it's kind of a big deal <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's it real deals wanted to bring you guys over here and let you see where the magic happens and get put together so tons of pvc in stock for the core 
And uh, yep, how many of these you roll out a week, man? Thirty-five to fifty. Just yeah. depends on uh, parts demand and how tired I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're cranking, man. Yep. So we put these exclusively on our equipment, um, and then we also have them for sale on the website. So if you need a reel, link in the description, baby.